Good afternoon, this is Coach Greg Stanfield representing the Ivans Basketball League. And to let you know, since we've had some differences here in the world right now with the, pan or the pandemic and COVID-19, what we thought we would do is we would do a virtual basketball clinic in stewing the regular basketball clinic we've had every year we do. And so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna teach you a bright variety of schools. We're gonna work on dribbling, we're gonna work on shooting, passing, some other things. We will show you some things you can do with a partner or you can do by yourself. And so we'll break these down. There will be a link that will be provided later so you can watch these videos. Again, we appreciate you for watching this. And to let you know a little bit about myself, I have been around basketball pretty much all my life as a player. I've taught it in elementary. I've been a coach in high school and also a coach at colleges and worked a lot of different college camps. So again, basketball is a great game. It's how much time you put into it. So you gotta make sure you practice these skills you also need to make sure you listen to your coaches when you go there and don't think you know everything because it's important to listen and learn. And again, basketball can be a great game if you will put everything that we put together here to practice. Thank you. Hello again, this is Coach Stanfield. The first skill we're gonna work on today is dribbling. Dribbling is a very important skill. So you know, the best way you're gonna get the ball down the court, unless you've got one heck of an arm to pass the ball the whole length of the court. A couple of things you need to remember about dribbling is you need to dribble under control. It doesn't matter if you're the fastest dribbler in the world, but if you dribble down towards the end here and the ball goes out of bounds, that is a turnover. You don't give your team the opportunity to score. So you gotta make sure you stay under control. Another thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure you keep your head up so you can look around the floor. You can also look to see where your other four teammates are so you can pass the ball to them. Because once you stop your dribble, you either have to pass you have to shoot because you cannot stop and then start dribbling again. So again, that's why you want to make sure you know where your teammates are. Some other things you want to remember when you dribble is you want to keep your hand spread. You don't want your hand to be really tight like this. You also want your wrist to be loose. I call it waving bye-bye to the ball. You don't want to pound and make it really stiff like this but you wanna make it so you're under control and your wrist is gonna bounce and you're gonna push the ball up to where it needs to go. You also wanna bend your knees. You also wanna bring the ball so it comes up about waist high. You don't wanna dribble way down here. You don't wanna dribble way up here. So again, just stand in one place. You can either use your right hand or left hand. Again, I am an equal opportunity coach, so you're gonna use both your right hand and your left hand. Right now, I will start out with my right hand. You will notice that my knees are bent. I have my hand is spread and my head is up. And I'm just gonna sit here and dribble in place. And you kind of look around, make sure you can see your teammate. Don't look at the ball. For some of you, this might be hard to start out with. You have to look once in a while too, but try to keep your head up as much as possible. And you're gonna look right here. Now we're gonna switch and do the same thing. We're gonna go over to the left hand. Again, the hand is spread, waving bye-bye with the ball. Keep your head up. And again, it's just an easy dribble. You can see it's coming up about my waist high. I'm not way down here, and I'm not way up here. So again, you want to have it come to your waist. Okay, so those are just some real basic dribbling skills. The next thing, if you remember, I talked about being under control. And a big thing we have in basketball, think, people think everything has got to be built around speed. So you're going to see some people when they get the ball, and they're going to dribble. And you will notice that I lost control of the ball. And so again, you want to dribble as fast as you can go where you keep control. The other thing you're going to find some people that are gonna go all over like that. Again, they are not under control. So again, just stand there, start out, stay under control to get this. Once you've dribbled a couple of minutes with your right hand, a couple of minutes with your left hand, we're gonna do what's called a pushover or a crossover dribble, where you're just gonna push it from the right hand to the left hand. Again, keep your head up and just push it back and forth. Again, under control. Bring it up waist high, knees are bent. So again, these are just drills you can practice in your driveway. You can stand on your sidewalk anywhere you are, and you don't need any teammates. You're just practice dribbling back and forth. All right? 
The next thing we want to do is we'll add a little bit of motion to it. <clears throat> so what you'll do is find a place in your driveway and all you're going to do again is be under control. You can start out slow. If you're a little bit faster, you can do that. But all you're going to do is dribble down to the end of the driveway or the end of the gym floor. You're going to turn around and dribble back again with the right hand. Keep your head up again. Waist high. Down. Bring it back again with the right hand. You can do that a couple of times, then switch over to the left hand. And again, under control. The next thing we want to do is remember where we had you cross the ball back and forth. So now you're going to do this, is you're going to put it with your right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. Bring it back again, right hand, left hand. So you can do a crossover dribble. Okay, another skill you can practice if you can get some cones or some things to dribble around on chairs or whatever. And what you can do is you can start out with your right hand. When you come to the first cone, you're going to switch over to your left hand. But just like we did before, we are going to switch over right hand to left hand. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate. do is again as I told you we're an equal two-hand dribbler so what you're going to do is you're going to dribble or dribble with two balls so if you can get the two balls here again stand in place just sit here dribble them back and forth again keep your head up your knees are bent the other thing you can do is you're going to dribble one ball high one ball low to work on control okay so we're going to work on that the other thing you'll do is a two ball zigzag drill. So we're gonna go three dribbles right, three dribbles left. And so there is again some skills to work on in dribbling. Again, the basics you wanna remember is to make sure you keep your head up. You dribble under control, make sure the dribble comes up to waist high. You also wanna make sure that you have your hand spread and like you're waving bye-bye to the wrist, don't make it real stiff. Thank you, and again, we hope you enjoyed this section on dribbling.